Hey guys, this is podcast 4.4, and we are looking at lipids more specifically now. Uh, we already did the lab where we took a look at some of the diagnostic tests that we can do for lipids, including the brown bag test, uh, where the lipid will make the paper translucent, or we can see light through it, and we did the Sudan 3 test. Okay, and this turns like a bright bright red when there's a lipid present so we've we we know what they look like in the lab but now we need to look at their actual structure and lipids consist of two parts the first one is a glycerol and the second is called the fatty acid and a glycerol is a simple carbon chain it's a carbon chain a hydrocarbon well not a hydrocarbon similar to a hydrocarbon uh, but it's a three carbon chain and it's, we're going to draw it vertically because I've got room off to the side here. So it's a three carbon chain. And off of each carbon, we have a hydrogen. Okay, to the back. And then off of this front side here, we have a hydroxide, OH. 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 And this is where the bonding occurs, okay? And these get put together. They are built with dehydration synthesis, just like uh, carbohydrates. Built with dehydration synthesis. So we're going to be removing a water in order to put these lipid molecules together. So this is part one. The second part, are the fatty acids and these are long very long very large hydrocarbon polymers and again it's just carbon chains dozens and dozens and dozens of carbons and all they have off of them is hydrogens okay and this goes on and on and on but these also have an OH group. Let me do that in blue. Okay, these have an OH group attached to it as well. So where does the dehydration synthesis occur? Well, if we are looking at a glycerol, so we have a carbon, 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 hydrogens off of it to the left and the top and bottom. Fill it in so we know what it looks like this and this carbon has an OH and we've got an OH here and an OH there and then our fatty acid comes in with its OH group and a carbon back to black carbon carbon and it goes on and on with hydrogens here the dehydration occurs between the hydrogen of the glycerol and the hydroxide or the OH group of the fatty acid. So we're looking at removing a water right, right there, like that. And so what we're left with, wish I had more space. So water leaves, and what we're left with up here above is you have a carbon that's part of the glycerol that's attached to an oxygen that's attached to another carbon. Okay, so this oxygen right here is left over, so that's that guy right there. And then you've got your carbon chains everywhere else. Okay, and this is a special kind of bond. This is called an ester. Okay, a single oxygen bond is called an ester. And these are unique to lipids. Well, not unique to lipids, but lipids have them rather than just a carbon-carbon bond like um, carbohydrates. Okay, uh, so we are still following the same principles. We're still removing water to form a bond, but instead of going carbon-carbon, now we have an oxygen stuck in the middle. And one last thing about, uh, let me change my pen color back, about the fatty acids. Okay, one last part. We can have saturated, and this is all single bond. These are all single bond all hydrogens on the carbon chain. Okay. And we have unsaturated. 
And this is when you have at least one double bond. Okay. Uh, saturated fats, this is animal fat, so it's solid like butter. This is animal. And unsaturated, this is vegetable fat like oil. Okay. And we'll talk about this a little bit more in class, the saturated, unsaturated, but uh, biggest things, okay, lipids are all two part, parts, two portions. And the first part is the glycerol, okay, a three carbon chain. And then we have fatty acids attached to that. And those fatty acids come from dehydration synthesis, leaving an oxygen behind at the end, okay. And that's pretty much lipids. And we again, we've seen the lab results for how these work. So now we need to start practicing building these structures.